Finally, a spot of boxing, not the sporting kind though. With more of us working from home but not everyone having access to office equipment, one firm has come up with what could be the ideal solution. Matthew Hudson explains. It's not cardboard. In fact, none of the items you'll see in this report are made of cardboard, and that's important. So they're made of, of recycled paper. Um, it's, in a, it's in a honeycomb manner, which has been used for many years in industry, within aircraft, doors, and also in nature, if we take, take, take the bees, for instance. And it's an incredibly strong product over cardboard. For years, the company had been successfully selling lightweight, recyclable pallets to industry. Now, while extremely useful, pallets are also, by their very nature, boring. But then somebody here had a great idea. Why not see if they could make desks for colleagues to use at home during lockdown by reprogramming the existing cutting machine? So they did. We had our first wave of desks that got produced. We gave it to members of staff. We gave it to friends and family to trial, get honest feedback. Uh, and that worked really well. And we, we tweaked the design. Our vision was to make it affordable, clearly recyclable and strong and easy to build. Just weeks later, Pal Light have sold 6,000 direct to consumers. But why stop there when you can make desk partitions and just about anything else if you think outside the box? So now the company is planning children's toys, furniture and many other products, all made from cardboard. This is much more than cardboard, this is honeycomb paper deck. Sorry. It is proving popular, though, with inquiries coming in from around the country and around the world. It's fantastic, and uh, what it's allowed us to do is to accelerate our international growth plans that we had uh, uh, and to bring those forward on the back of mainly this consumer-driven demand. Boxing clever and hopefully helping one of our region's companies to thrive in the future. Matthew Hudson, ITV News in Wellingborough. Brilliant. Right.